Weather rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. It has been another very mild day. Even with the cloud cover and the passing showers, we made it up to 80 degrees here in Waco. And temperatures this evening not looking bad at all. We're looking at low 70s at this moment. So if you are running out some errands this evening, we are looking good here. We're not looking at any precipitation for the most part on top of us. Again, it's been very spotty. I do think though our best chances will come later on tonight. Matter of fact, here's the storm timeline and what I think will happen here. Showers and thunderstorms will start to develop ahead of a front by around three o'clock in the morning. It will then move through our area throughout the rush hour and ending by nine o'clock in the morning. And then temperatures will be falling all day with slow clearing and uh, quiet weather just in time for high school football. So let me show you how we get there. First of all, here's what's going on right now with our map. The cold front still off to our north and to our west. This is the big weather maker that will start to move into our region here after midnight. Out ahead of it, you can see just a spotty shower here or there in the forecast for the evening. So again, if you do have plans, I'm not saying don't grab the umbrella, but you're not going to really need it this evening because it's very, very hit and miss. We were watching a few spotty showers move through McLennan County down toward Bell as well as Falls earlier this afternoon and even had some rumbles of thunder down toward the Brazos Valley, but you can see most of that has raced away and now we're looking at pretty quiet weather by seven o'clock tonight. Again, temperatures upper 60s to lower 70s. You'll notice as we stop the clock here at midnight, out ahead of the front, we're going to see, see some uh, showers and some isolated storms develop. And as we put this into motion, you can kind of tell where the front is. That is for sure. By seven o'clock in the morning, temperatures will be in the upper 50s to around 60 degrees. Showers and thunderstorms will be firing. And again, more showers than isolated thunderstorms, I think. Not expecting any severe weather, but we could have some uh, thunder out there. That is for sure. And that will race off to the east. And by later on in the morning and into the afternoon, it's out of here. We're looking at temperatures, though, by late in the day in the upper 40s to around 50 degrees. So temperatures definitely falling throughout the uh, afternoon hours and then clearing out just in time for high school football overnight Saturday into early. I should say overnight Friday into early Saturday. We are looking at temperatures dropping into the 30s, so not too bad of a start to the weekend. And then a lot of sunshine expected on Saturday. Temperatures climbing into the 60s for a while under mostly sunny skies. But how much rainfall? This is what our computers are saying, at least right now. Generally throughout the day on Friday, it's going to be mainly in the morning maybe a, a four tenths of an inch. And again, it's going to be hit and miss across the area. It just depends on where the front sets up, maybe a little bit more up toward the Hillsborough area. So here's the forecast then tomorrow morning. It'll be raining, it'll be cloudy and it'll be wet. 60 degrees your temperature and then temperatures slowly start to fall as that rain tapers off 57 degrees at noon and then clearing skies in the afternoon. 50 degrees. That's the temperature at five o'clock. And as we take a look at Ray's automotive seven day forecast, 66 the high on Saturday, 70 on Sunday and next week. Not looking bad. A lot of folks have a short work week. We're talking temperatures in the 70s. Unfortunately, right now there does look like a front that moves through on Thanksgiving. So I've got a 30% chance in right now with a temperature right around 70 degrees and down toward Bryan and College Station. Again, tomorrow's the wet day, a nice looking weekend, and we'll start next week in the 70s, close to 80 degrees with some rain possible on Thanksgiving Day.